and I think it might be something like 70 cents a minute so we're not quite sure how much this is going to add up to but we'll let you know. We've made it. Gonna have to have a little bit of a rest I think before we head back down. And it feels like an absolute rocket ship compared to what we're used to driving. So <laughs> it's we've very been, nippy. We've been cruising around the island today and we can't wait over the next few days to carry on exploring with this car. Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. We are Hannah and Johnny, also known as Finding Our Adventure. In 2020, we converted our Ford Transit to live in full time. Since then, we've been on an endless adventure with our two cats, Tia and Skye, exploring, living and working in our tiny home. Join us each week for a new episode of Finding Our Adventure. Good evening everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Finding Our Adventure. We have had a mega travel day today. We have dropped the van off. If you saw last week's episode, we were in a camper van and we've just picked up a rental car and we've been all the way to Parma and all the way back up to the north of the island and now we're just heading out to a beach to enjoy the last few hours of sunshine before heading back to our hotel which we're staying in this week and we'll give you all a room to all of that when we get back and everything but I think we're just gonna go try it, find another beach and enjoy some sunshine. just had a very nice relaxing evening on the beach which was very nice we went for a little dip and uh, we're now going to head to a spot for sunset I think so we're gonna just head there now and hopefully get a good spot We've been enjoying a lovely sunset with beautiful views off the mountains and we have been kindly gifted this car that we're renting at the moment through Top Gear Mobility and um, how have you found it? It's been really nice. Compared to 
our, our own van and also the van we've just used, it's so smooth, it's so quiet and it feels like an absolute rocket ship compared to what we're used to driving. So <laughs> it's we've very been, nippy. We've been cruising around the island today and we can't wait over the next few days to carry on exploring with this car. Yeah, we're going to take it on some exciting roads. So this is where we're going to be staying for the next couple of nights and sorry about the mess because we are in a bit of a rush this morning because we're excited to get out on the road. But this is like a studio room and it's got its very own balcony. It was the cheapest place we could find on booking.com and we I think we've lucked out because a lot of the other balconies are overlooking other buildings. We have got a sea view and our balcony is overlooking trees and it's going to be a great base for the next couple of days so we're going to quickly show you around where we're staying. So this is the bathroom which is actually quite a decent size. It's got a toilet, um, a massive sink with a big mirror and a shower and a bath. And then coming into the main room, which has a nice little kitchenette, so you can, we can cook all of our own meals here. And there's also a little table as well. Then into the bedroom, we've got a double chest of drawers and then a lovely beds, which are quite comfortable. And then it looks out here with sea views and mountain views. And then last but not least, we have the balcony area, which is where we just had breakfast this morning overlooking the trees and the sea views again. Right, so now it's time to go and have an adventure. So we just drove down like a really exciting road to get to this slice of paradise. It literally feels like we're, we've gone to like the Caribbean or something. It's so nice. The sun's just come out as well. So I think we're just going to chill here for a bit. So we are at Formentier Beach and we've just left the beach and come back to the car park and we're going to go pay now and I think it might be something like 70 cents a minute so we're not quite sure how much this is going to add up to but we'll let you know. Hard payment only. So we have been here for about two hours and it's costing 11 euros 80 and this is the first time we've had to pay for parking on the island so yeah it's a bit of a sting. <laughs> we have just driven up to the top of the mountain and there are now spectacular views of the island and the ocean from up here. just driven a few minutes down the road to a town called Palenza and it's supposed to be very pretty, got lots of lovely streets and we're just going to go for a little walk around the town. So we've just walked through the main town square and now we're walking up some stairs. We don't know where they're going to. It looks like there's a church at the top. So yeah, it's already feeling quite humid and I think we're going to be quite hot when we get to the top. So I think on the way back down, we'll find some ice cream. 
We've almost made it to the top. I don't know how many steps we've come up. That's a lot. How many do you reckon? Uh, a couple of hundred like, maybe? Yeah, it's so high. But it's so beautiful. The steps are like lined by these really tall skinny trees. And we've been going past some of the most beautiful houses as well. Got lots of house envy, but almost at the church. We've made it. Gonna have to have a little bit of a rest, I think, before we head back down. So we've made it down all the hundreds of steps and we made it to the ice cream shop and we've got some ice cream yeah. and it's very refreshing. It's so nice, it's already melting as well because it's so hot. <laughs> so I think we're just gonna sit here for a few minutes, enjoy this and then we're gonna head back to the car. So after day out adventuring, which has been an epic day, we are now absolutely pooped and I think we're gonna go and chill by the pool for the rest of the day and um, it's been great. So we'll probably catch you tomorrow. So we have just arrived at Eco Vinyasa and we are going on a little tour around a lemon and orange farm and it's one of the places where a lot of oranges are grown in this valley so we're really excited to learn a bit more about oranges and maybe even try some too. So we just started the self-guided tour, there's lots of different plaques telling you all about the farm. We've just got some corn to feed the chickens and it's really hot today so we're probably going to be stopping for a bit of shade but yeah, it's so beautiful here and very peaceful, surrounded by mountains and there's also a peacock. So we've just come across the first orange tree and you can see them just coming up here, they're like tiny like this sort of size and um, they ripen in December. So they've got a while to go before they're ready to pick. We've just come across our first orange and this is a different variety so I think they're growing lots of different types of varieties here so yeah. The smell of the lemons is amazing once you walk into this area that we've just come to. It's so strong and sweet smelling as well, it smells of like honey, it's so nice. There's also all sorts of different types of trees here and we've just come across an avocado tree and the plaque was telling us that av the original name of the avocado came from a Aztec. word in Aztec which meant testicles. <laughs> it is hot today, it's about 33 degrees and we've been promised some fresh orange juice once we finish the tour but also there is supposed to be a rest stop at some point with a hamper in for us and we're supposed to stop at rest stop number one but we haven't found it yet so hopefully we haven't missed it. So we've just learned that the first citrus fruits were brought to the island of Mallorca by Jewish people back in the 4th century. Until we came here I had no idea there were so many different types of oranges. I mean even going around now it's very difficult to tell the difference between a lot of them but luckily they've got all the signs here explaining all the different varieties and why they're different. So we've just come across the rest stop where we pick up our orange basket and we're going to enjoy some fresh oranges. So here we go. Oh, that's so sweet. That's really good. So we finished the end of the tour and now we are sat in the kind of cafe area where they bring you food and freshly squeezed orange juice with a beautiful view. So we're gonna tuck into this now. It all looks really fresh and delicious. And that is the end of this episode. We have had such an epic time exploring this part of Mallorca. We are writing about everything that we're doing on our website, so don't forget to check out those travel guides when they're live. And we are actually heading to a new part of Mallorca next for next week's episode. Yeah, we are very excited to take you along with us and let us know in the comments what your favorite bit was of this video. Please subscribe, it means the world to us and it also means you can watch some of our next videos and we will see you in the next one. See ya.